Yo, what's up, everybody? Rage Cage 20 here. Back with technically the end of Epica's Design Your Universe album. Still got the two bonus tracks, but the end of the actual album itself, we have Design Your Universe, A New H. Dons Part 6. I looked. I don't I don't think I could find any other thing of a new age done so I think this is either the last or second to last part of design your universe so there we go or not design your universe a new age dance excuse me uh, so exciting I'm excited with it and uh, it's a big one it's a big old nine minute 32 second it's a big one and I think there are tons of lyrics here. Yeah, pretty good chunk of lyrics here. I'm excited to see the conclusion of this album, how it brings it all together. I think that'll be very fun, very, very exciting, and very awesome and or amazing. So let's do it. Let's get into this bad boy. We have the uh, golden version album. Uh, I've specifically skipped all of those ones because I like the color of the uh, album art and whatnot, but I think this is the only one I could find of this, if I remember correctly. Don't know. Brought it up a long time ago. <laughs> well, at least uh, four or five days ago. So I don't remember how that went down. But we're here now. So let's get it. Design Your Universe. The album named song. Let's go. <laughs>
Yo, dog, that crazy. Did you actually have to fuck up or did you come out? Oh, my God. All right. Sorry about that. I am back. Um, there was some barking going on, and then for whatever reason, when my roommate was having lunch, he decided that he was going to play shit from his computer at, like, full volume, and it was, like, bleeding into my mic and stuff, and so I had to take a couple-minute break, but I'm back. Um... Now, from what I can remember from that song, um, I mean, pretty standard Epica, just instruments. I, I love what they're doing instrumentally. Um, there are some fascinating rhythms in there during the chorus, which was very interesting. Something's going on with it. Um, my first guess, I think, was triplets, but we're going to have to look into that a little bit deeper. Um, some really nice guitar riffs. Um, great singing i love i love the culmination especially coming to the end of this song that it felt like it was just like like the end obviously is the end of the album like i think they they shaped the song perfectly to kind of represent that and to 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 to, to, to give off that impression which is awesome i liked that um yeah just a lot of nice little stuff in here um there was also some uh, a returning theme or two from past songs i think it was i think it was a new age jones part four but i'm not like a million percent positive but i don't remember or five i don't four or five i don't know but i feel like it was one of the other uh new age jones uh melody came back at one point and i love that callback that was really fucking cool uh we don't got i mean we got a lot of time we're not gonna spend necessarily a lot of time because <laughs> uh, this is a nine minute song and you know what that means for me that means we could be here for a long time so let's do ourselves a favor here and let's just start going through this um the beginning here i don't know what it is every time there's like a smooth guitar opener with just kind of peaceful music and whatnot it just gives me stairway to heavens vibes it happened with mastodon as well um but yeah i got a little bit of stairway to heaven from that but i said a uh, smooth guitar uh, sound like some kind of like Eastern influence flute kind of thing going on in there. Tons of very interesting, um, <laughs> uh, tons of different interesting in instrument work with uh, a lot of it. Kind of had that Eastern influence that we've gotten a couple of times throughout some of these songs, which I thought was really cool. Um, continuing with all this first stuff here, uh, around 35 ish seconds, said the uh. So there was a very cool rhythm in there. Sound like it was maybe syncopated. There's some tambourine work in there. Uh, I said the familiar rhythm. Uh, I wanted to check out that. So yeah, all within the first minute, 40 seconds ish here. Uh, I wanted to check out all that stuff. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a, it's a guitaring with that just kind of open, spacey background sound, and you just have flutes and or woodwinds like, dun, 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 dun. you know what I mean? Like it just kind of has that 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 stairway to heaven feel to it. But I, it's all right. It's just very gorgeous, uh, picking strumming here. Uh, just yeah, just very beautiful opener. That also, that dun 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 first notes there also sound very stairway to heaven. Ooh, beautiful, gorgeous. Mm 
That right there. And very very Eastern um, kind of Arabian Middle Middle Eastern kind of sound to there. I like that. Right, that there. Dun, 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 dun. I'm pretty sure we've heard that rhythm for like guitars or something in a previous song in this album. So I think that's another callback rhythm there. I think that's really fucking cool, but kind of like subdued to what it was in the other one. Just kind of like a reminder of just like, hey, you know, this is a journey we've gone on here. It's part six, you know. Yeah, well, I wonder if there's any callbacks to the first three parts and then the other ones or, or this one. It's interesting, I haven't heard the other three, so that would be very interesting. If when I do hear them, be like, oh yeah, that came back, you know. But yeah, nice little call back there. I think that was that familiar rhythm I was talking about here. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I was wondering if it was, it might have been that or something else, but uh, I think that was the one I was questioning if it was syncopated or not. No. Yeah. No, nah, that's, that's a rhythm switch up. Ta 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 one two three one two one two one two three. Yeah, I think that's a rhythm that we commented before. I think that was around New Age Downs part four ish, but I don't remember the exact song. Very cool. I like that. Or it could have been number five. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a while. All right. Cool. Nice. I like that. We're going back in there. There's a tambourine. And then it's going. Yeah, just little tambourine hits in there. Uh, uh, making the rhythm even more comp complex and whatnot. I like it. Yeah, I think that is a callback, uh, the, the rhythm going on there, a callback to another part there, which is really cool. Uh, 120, when the guitars came in, I really like the guitar riff, so I plus the fake out, plus Simone Simmons' beautiful, gorgeous, smooth vocals coming in there, and some of the notes. It's all the next minute here. I wanted to check out those things. A lot kept happening throughout this song. They, put, they pumped a lot of stuff into this song here. Love that dun 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 Oh come on now that's that's a good riff right there that's tasty That's great rhythm for the drums there too that's keeping it poppy it's keeping it moving that's good shit right there And yeah, that's the fake out. There is the fake out. It just gives you that hit, and you think it's gonna get like faster, crazier strumming, faster notes, faster rhythm. And then just ooh, here's Simone. Just melds into this beautiful, smooth section. It's just like whoa, that fake out though. That that was sick. It's just smooth, beautiful little interval jumps in there up to a higher register. Just gorgeous stuff coming out here from Simone. Something about the notes, maybe it was that interval jump, I'm not sure. Let's, let's keep listening. That little, no, uh, that interesting little vocalization she does on there. 
very beautiful just jumping up to high note like sliding back down it's gorgeous right there that's why I mean, that's why I remember now that's why I said notes dun, dun, dun. Oh fuck yeah, that's smooth and it creates this nice back and forth between that 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 passage, which I don't know if Simone. I feel like Simone's in there, but I think there's also other vocalists as well. I don't know if Simone's prominent or not. One of those to do it again, but yeah, the difference between that and then Simone coming back in, beautiful contrast in there, just absolutely gorgeous notation here. Yeah, Simone's in there, but there's another person too. Uh, a little stretch before it moves on. That's very beautiful there. I like that. Very, very good there. All right, around 238 here. That's right. The the, the scream into um, that, that 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 very interesting, unique vocal rhythm that I mentioned there. I think that was is a choir doing that, but it's, I think it sounded like Mo was in there with them somewhere. I'm not sure. I don't really remember but yeah the scream into that part very nice touch and the fucking rhythm was fascinating also i put plus unleashed lyrics um again i think there was a lot of callbacks to the whole album um uh, in here at different parts um and i think that's the whole point of it being you know design your universe the name of the cd so obviously the, all the whole story that's been told throughout the cd is now coming to a culmination here at the end and so there's little different parts of what stuff has come before which is very awesome writing in general but uh just the uh just the the last parts of here um uh and our weakness which is 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 touched on and unleashed um we can't evade our destiny that is um uh our, our destiny yeah <laughs> actually <laughs> the name is in the title as our destiny we can't hide from destiny that line in there but we can't evade our destiny which is evade is another word that they used in uh uh in in unleashed is it Agony and weakness, something we can never evade, or something like that. I think is the uh, again weakness followed by evade. Uh, you know, lyrics taken from different songs in here. Uh, uh, and then the end there. For we all surely have a sense of our consciousness, which is just a good bar in general. Like surely we must have a consciousness, right? And surely. All these people that are doing these fucked up things and destroying our society and whatnot must at least sense their consciousness at some point, right? That's just a great bar in general, but also uh, uh, the just the last word, consciousness. I think it's the word that like yells out before Simone goes through the course for the last time and goes up to that huge opera belt. Uh, just starts belting it out with a beautiful open opera tone. Um, I think it's unleash our consciousness. I think is what it yells out. Uh, actually, I can look at that. It's actually down here. Uh, unleash my consciousness. Yeah, I was close. <laughs> Very close there. Um, so yeah, yeah. Callbacks to different lyrics taken from different parts of songs that have come before this. Switching them up a little bit. Doing some. Um, relatively verbatim you know just good clean stuff right there i like i like all these callbacks that are happening in the song i think that's really fucking cool uh so what was i talking about the scream into that part of the vocal rhythm obviously the lyrics yeah so just that here during this course um so yeah let's see if we can i want to say that this rhythm is i don't think it's I, I thought at first maybe syncopated but i don't think it's syncopated i think it's just a series of triplets but they didn't feel perfectly metered out so i was thinking maybe it's just some kind of rhythm switch up i don't know we'll find well we'll maybe find out together no promises but i'll try <laughs> no promises but i will try
I think it's triplets. I think it's quarter note triplets in 4-4 four, four is my guess. As the best guess I have. Whether I'm right or not, I have no idea. <laughs> Without being able to see the sheet music, there's no way I'd fucking know. But uh, no way I'd be able to confirm or prove it otherwise. But it sounds like it is just quarter note triplets. Um, and it's very high register, very, very high notes, just each one heavily accented, very marcado, just ta, 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 just very punched out in this high register. Just, it, it gives us this kind of almost like shrill, frantic kind of feeling to it, like almost like doomsday, everything's about to blow up and we're all about to die, just very like end of days kind of frantic belting to it. Uh, with that beautiful high accented just triplet punching melody guess, guessing triplet punching melody there that's really fucking cool and I like that it even stops um, at the end of it and our weakness of our consciousness those two are not done that way they're kind of sung differently and then after and our weakness goes back to that punching thing giving you a breakout break up so it's not just all that very punching rhythm the entire way through because that might wear on your ears a little bit so they they mix it up a little bit they you know they 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 soften it at one point and then go back to it and then soften on the way out into the next uh verse nice nice touch really well written um love the themes love the lyrics love the callback that's just a really cool chorus section right there i really like that i uh, also let it finish up before we go to the next part Very good opera tone there. Uh, clear, solid, high notes. Just good shit right there. All right, 450. That's the next one. Yeah, 450. Yeah, go 445 here. Uh, I said riff plus notes and rhythm. Do not remember. It's been a little bit. Uh, but let's, uh, what was I talking about? The end of the next chorus, okay. Yep. Yeah, it's just that small section there. Yeah, like 10 ish seconds there. First off, you have that, uh, as I think it was in a different song. Pretty sure it was Epica. I've listened to a lot of different bands recently, so pretty sure it was Epica. Um, <clears throat> Because I often compare them to Nightwish. I just don't remember which one it was. I think it was number 12. No, 13 or 11. Semblance of Liberty. I think it was Semblance of Liberty. Um, so again, a callback. Uh, that Again, that kind of like death march. Kind of dum dum dum. Dum dum dum. Just a little, you know, a little bit faster. Instead of dum dum dum. You know, just a little faster. Dum dum dum. So that death march kind of theme, but then right after, right after what happened, you get these little piano touches in there, these gorgeous little piano notes. While everything else is not like crazy, like this is it, this is the moment, but it's like giving you that like inkling that bad's about to happen with a dun dun dun, but it's still, still soft. Like there's still that like, there's still that hope that you can control your universe, you can design it your way. This little hopeful piano, beautiful things in there that that the the death march stops, and the piano notes continue into uh, Simone's vocal lines coming back in, and you can just hear that piano still coming in when she's singing. That's really fucking cool. And then fucking Simone's just like, oh, just singing her heart out in this section. He's still getting those little dun 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 piano chords in there. 
Ah, it's continuing from that. So that's just beautiful, man. This is this is good shit right here. Um, I'm gonna reset the video real fast. All right. Um, yeah, this is beautiful stuff going on here. Next, uh, 5:35 ish. One just jumping. Oh, shoot. go a little bit before that. Um, something about the violins. Now, I don't think this was the. This is just the first thing my brain came to, but I don't think it accurately describes what was happening. It's just the first thing my brain came up with was uh, scratch violins. There was an interesting sound coming from the violins. I don't think it has anything to do with scratching, but that's just the first place my brain went, so I wrote it down so I would remember. <laughs> um, so plus, no idea. Return. I think it's a return. Returning theme. Yeah, okay, that's ING. That's an NG. Okay. I saw the return and I was confused what the other was. Returning theme. So there was another returning theme in here. I think that was um, what I mentioned after the video was done. Uh, the, the first returning theme. The other uh, thing was, I think it's different than the first returning theme that we got to around 35 ish, 40 seconds. And I think it was before that. I mean, it was a, it's a different one than that. And it reminds me, I think, of another New Age Dons. Oh, yeah. I think, uh, I think it's, it's part, is it part four? Um, well, actually, I can actually go look that up as we talk because I have the lyrics right here. Um, okay, part five is the multi one. So I think it's that one. Yeah, the light creates us all, probably will make us fall. I think it's, I don't think it's that, the, 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 the melody line from that part specifically that I just mentioned. Uh, but I think it is from part five of Kingdom of Heaven. I've, uh, or New Age Dawn is part five, part one of Kingdom of Heaven. I'm pretty sure is what it was what is what this one comes from. It's what it made me think of right out the gate. It might be a different one, but it's definitely something from this album. That much I know. <laughs> it's definitely a returning theme. I can definitely tell that. So uh, we'll listen to those violins and that uh, returning theme there. Yeah, it's very faint. I'm only hearing in this ear, kind of around the middle of the ear. Um, but it's it, you're not necessarily a scratch. I think why I put scratch is kind of kind of reminds me of like a like a like a like a kind of violent sounds you would hear in a horror movie or something. So it kind of made me think like very scratchy and like like making the anxiety raise and whatnot i think that's why scratch came to mind but just that kind of sound coming in for the violin there very interesting again just kind of i think trying to increase the kind of frantic like holy shit everything is ending everyone fucking panic kind of emotion that's being driven from these heavier sections um so yeah i like that sound uh, so we'll hear that again we'll let it keep going here Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's da, 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 da. What is that one from? Well, is, is that is that line there? It's not this song. It's a different song, obviously. Is now denied? Hold on. It's not. No, it's not burned to a cinder. Um, uh, I feel like I can find it here somewhere. Uh, I'm not seeing it in part five. Is it part four? <laughs> Yeah, Access is now the night we're panic stricken, wealth out of sight. Yeah, part four of A New Age Dawns. I think it's from there. Yeah. It came, it came to me in the end there. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. 
That's really cool. Uh, that's really, really, really fucking cool. Uh, just getting themes from the other uh, New Age Dons from this album coming in. Possibly even from past New Age Dons on a different album. I'm not 100% positive because I haven't heard them. But I'm very positive that comes from part four. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me hear that again. Let's go back a little bit here. Let me, let me get that again. There's a nice rumbly bass in there too. I hear it peek through every now and then, but that was a good little dong kind of sound in there. I like that. Yeah, just a small little section of what I believe is part four in there. That's really fucking cool. That's really fucking cool. I like that. I like that. I'm absolutely very surprised that my ears picked that up, honestly, because it's probably been at least a good week or two since I've listened to part four. But that's really cool. <laughs> I'm really happy that I picked that up. Uh, so 625 here, give me a little bit, whip, uh, string rhythm, yep, then something at 710, I don't know how long the string rhythm will go on for, but if it keeps going, there's also something at 710, we'll just pause it, uh, yep, so string rhythm, something about the string rhythm here caught my attention. That's right, I even did this during when that happened. I just love the bounciness to it, like the multiple notes. It sounds like it's just... Da, 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 da. It sounds like it's just simple, like, eighth notes. But I'm hearing, like, a... Digga, 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 a little bit of a... A little bit of a bounce to that. Like, they're kind of bouncing on the stream. Digga, 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 digga. That's fucking cool. Yeah, that's a cool... Really. I think it evolves into something even a little bit more, but that's... <laughs> And I'm loving these little hits in there, dun, 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 just like the, it's just like the, the the heaviness of the guitars and drums and everything bleeding into this beautiful like orchestral string section, just occasionally interrupting it and just punching through and whatnot. It's a really really cool effect there. It gets even faster. I like that. Da 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 da. That's fucking cool. I was hoping da da da. I thought they were gonna really belt for that higher note. Uh, that's fucking cool. Uh, seven ten. I said note touches. I can't remember if it was a piano or something else. Then I believe that seven thirty five something. Uh, seven thirty five was piano touches. Seven ten was just note touches. So. Two different types of touches. Touching all over here. All right, let's find out what the first one is. I know the second one is a uh, piano. Ooh, I will not be able to s <laughs> scroll soon. I'll have to. Okay, that's fine. We can wait for it before we can do it again. That's a nice brass section right there. Ooh. Sounds like it starts out piano there, but yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know what the other notes were, but that just that also just sounded like something else. Another song from this album, potentially. I know I'm thinking of a different band altogether. <laughs> just also a possibility. I want to say Unleash, but that doesn't sound right. Hmm. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's a little. Touches there. Digga digga da. Digga digga da. Yeah, that, that, that rhythm is reminding me of another song. I think it's an epica song. I just don't know if it's from this album or from a different album and what song it would be but I do think that is 
a rhythm that I've heard before in a different song. Anyways, very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, a few seconds here. We'll just boop, jump a little bit. Uh, piano touches now. I think it started out a little bit piano slash keyboard, and then the strings came in and joined in on it. So it was kind of piano touches already, but distinctly piano touches coming up here in a few seconds. <laughs> I like that the violin in this year is joining this triplet uh, rhythm with the vocals. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the second part of this after they hold out and our weakness, I believe. Uh, and the scream pushes it back into the next section, which uh, I think I don't think they did the first chorus, but then started doing uh, either every other chorus after every chorus after that, or after the first two choruses, and they started doing it, which I thought was really cool. Um, but yeah, uh, once it comes back in, you have those piano chords coming in there, dun dun, just nice little piano touches in there. I like that. That sounds fucking good. <laughs> That scream reminds me, uh, I guess this has been a lot of callbacks in this album, it could be that this is another callback, uh, reminds me a lot of Never Enough from, I don't know if that's consigned to Oblivion or a different album, I'm not, I don't really remember, but it's not this album, that much I know, a uh, past album, uh, Never Enough, when you would yell out like enough, just scream it out before the chorus, I really like that, uh, it reminds me a lot like that uh and that might again might be another callback that's really fucking cool anyways the uh, piano touches this is why we're here <laughs> has a nice touch to this It really like let it really lets you feel the downbeats, dun dun dun, because you have this rhythm that feels very free form and open. Because when you have, if this is what it is, which I think it is, uh, when you have quarter note triplets, a lot of it's going to happen in very odd places. That is not going to feel like it's actually following a rhythmic pattern. Uh, so just reminding you, down beat here you know is it, it, it really helps you kind of rock and head bang with it dun, 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 dun. really helps you remind you where that downbeat is and it really gives it a good sense of uh centered around a time signature it's real that's nice that's a nice effect not only does it sound beautiful and epic and heroic but also just really brings you in i like that that's fucking cool eight minutes Let's just let it keep going, fuck it. Uh, yeah. Speaking of heroic, I said heroic symphony outro. So yeah, we're just going to let it go to the end here. Because uh, the uh, also the whisper end on that, really fucking good. Just taking bits and pieces from not only this song, but also stuff that's been said to kind of the themes and whatnot throughout this album in general. And she like whispers it out, speaks it out, and the gorgeous piano that's accompanying that that happens right after this open sweeping orchestral symphony of heroicism and just just if it, 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 i sorry to compare to nightwish again but it feels like those moments in like uh especially the end of um the greatest show on earth which is that this epic heroic brass just ah moments it's it's very much like that it's very cinematic it's just fantastic so let's listen to those as this song ends once again oh let's go brass is so good just having these great belting heroic solos it's fantastic you know not them you know favoritism or anything you know it's just my it's just my uh, music section of choice but it's whatever you know, it's just the piano in there too so 
All the downbeat chords from that piano. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's go. I, I hear you, violence. Strict section. It's almost like, it's almost like sad crying sound. Like someone who's just lost all hope and it's just like, like curled up and crying kind of sound to it. And it's very whispered and soft. And the piano though. With a weakness. Can't be fake. Mm. I like how this piano fades away. There's I think it's also intentional that there's no resolve. There's no final boom piano chord or anything. It just fades away into nothing. It's leaving it not fully resolved, just like our continuous struggle to save society and humanity. It's not, it's not resolved. It just fades away into nothing, like we might if we don't fucking fix shit. I think that's an intentional, beautiful, artistic end there. <sighs> that was gorgeous. That was absolutely gorgeous. And we have two more. Next we have the bonus track, Incentive. Which should be fun. I don't know if it's going to still, since it's on this album, if it's going to follow on the same themes that this album has, or if it's going to be it's completely different, just kind of individual song on the album. I think that would be really fucking cool. And then of course unleashed the duet version with Amanda Somerville. Sounds uh sounds awesome. It, it really felt like that song was a great last song because it really felt like the culmination of everything that this album has gone through with the perfect fade away, just soft, mournful ending. Just cherry on top of a really good album right there incentives next everybody wrapping this bad boy out finishing it off i think it's gonna be a good end i mean ending with unleashed how can you go wrong really i mean since we didn't get to hear it really going through the album finishing with unleashed i mean you can't you can't go wrong even if for whatever weird crazy reason i don't like incentive don't see that happening we release ending with a bang of the Unleashed Duet version, so I, I mean, I assume it's gonna be very similar. Uh, I don't know how it could be supremely different, but hey, you never know. I've been surprised before, but uh, that's a good way to end the album. But we ain't done yet. We're gonna come back and finish this off with a bang with these next two songs. Come back and join me for Incentive. I will see you all next time.